Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome, welcome into the show. As you guys can see, we are just getting our day started. Yeah, it looks like it's still a little bit dark on the screen, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. I have to wait a little bit till all this uh, traffic goes by. Got a little bit of traffic, I guess everybody's heading to Montreal. Yep. Yeah, we got quite a bit of traffic actually. Yeah, let's see. I think we got a couple of more cars and then I think we can go, but there we go. I think we're gonna do it right here. Now we're gonna get on the road. We're gonna put our four-way flashers on so that way they know we are going a little bit slower, right? But welcome into the show, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in again. We don't have too much further to go, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be hitting Montreal. Yeah, I just barely took my 10-hour break, and here we are hitting the road again, trying to make our delivery. Yeah, we got 217 kilometers to go before we uh, get to our uh, get to our uh, customer but <clears throat> I gotta pull her over so that way we can give this guy a little bit of room so he you know he's kind of taking the white line there so I want to get I wanted to be in the left lane looks like four-wheelers are still trying to go around them there you know like really guys yeah that's not good there we go that guy is going at a pretty good speed. I'm pretty impressed. Anyways, we're looking at these gorgeous mountains up here. I don't know how good you guys are going to be able to see them, but should be able to see them all right. Anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can make our delivery and uh, see what kind of reload we will get today. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a fairly short turn here, too. Wow going right around this big mountain I guess yeah they're saying even 75 clicks an hour no wonder <laughs> yep so anyhow let's get on going and let's see what today will bring us right we are now in Montreal guys sort of on the outskirt of Montreal but uh, we are definitely on uh, on Montreal in, Mo in Montreal I should say <clears throat> I'm trying to take a little bit of a uh, bypass around it a little bit so that way I don't have to go into downtown Montreal and so far I think it's working yeah I looked it up yesterday already and uh, so I set my Google map this morning and that's how we're gonna go and yeah my RJ didn't really want to go down this way but eventually he decided yeah this is gonna be a good route so now he's showing me exactly the way I had planned it on Google map so that's awesome but wouldn't you believe now it's starting to snow again like are you serious come on I was hoping I'd be out of the snow for once you know but no we got another snowstorm well I don't know if snowstorm but we got snow again yeah that's just how it goes but we only got about 91 kilometers right now to get to our uh, delivery so that's not too terribly bad should be there probably within an hour and 15 minutes normally it would only be about an hour if you don't have traffic lights right but when you have traffic lights and I got to cross a border yet and all that fun stuff it's gonna be an hour and 15 minutes for sure if not longer right but yeah, I have no idea what these things are up here, them green houses right there. Some sort of store it looks like, but uh, what exactly? I have no idea. Because it's all in French. I couldn't tell you what it is. Look at this guy. He's... Oh, geez. Come on, turn off already, right? <laughs> yep. Anyways. It was the same deal there last night, like, uh, 
There's no sign saying that the rest area was coming up or anything, right? Just like saying, I know I see it right there in front of me, right? It's like, darn it, I had to slam on my brakes and pull in there and luckily I got me a spot. But yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that's how Quebec goes. You have no idea until you run right up and on it because nothing is properly marked or if it is, it's all in French. You have no idea what it says, right? I mean, look at all these signs, they're all in French. So, yeah. <clears throat> I have no idea. <laughs> if I didn't have a GPS, I would have no idea where to go. I tell you, I really wouldn't. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along. And hopefully this snowstorm or this snow won't be too terribly bad. And I'll be able to make it to my customer today. That would be nice. Almost looks like a truck stop right here. Look at that. Sure enough, right here, there's a truck stop. Look at that. Wow, that's a decent size too. And they got Tim Hortons in there. I should have pulled in there and got me a Timmy's. In 300 meters, oh, well. turn right on. Ox I better pay attention. Because uh, I got a... The roads are horrible too. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, we got to turn down this road. And go down here a couple of miles I guess and make another turn right yeah for basically two miles I gotta go down here and yeah anyways we show you as much as we can today all right guys we are now very very close to our uh, customer to deliver our load and uh, so that means we have just crossed the border here a few minutes ago yeah, that was no problem today. And we just got us a reload offer. In a half mile, turn right on. I want us to, to Mark's uh, Passage, US 9. Go to Napanee, Ontario. Pick up a load there. And go to Decolp, Illinois. So, uh, that's an interesting run. I've done that before, don't get me wrong. It's been a long time, but I've been there before. But anyhow. Let's go deliver our load. We're 1.7 miles away from actually making it there. And I've been having to use a ton of windshield washer Speed fluid. warning. Speed warning? All right. I guess we better slow her down then. In 0 0.2 miles, turn right on. Legs Let's go make our delivery, passage. guys. All right, guys. We have already finished off loading. And I'm driving on the road, this back road here, Speed and it looks warning. like the Smoky Bear has captured himself somebody. Speed limit ahead. Yeah, that's what it looks like, but we got about 112 miles to go until we get to our pickup. We're going to Napanee and picking up a reload over there. Yeah, we got somewhat of a lake up here. I can't believe this. Like, on this side you still see water, right? Well, some of these other areas, they're sort of frozen. And I'm already seeing people on their ice fishing. I'm like, are you really that crazy? <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's just how it goes. And we've been getting sort of ice rain, snow on and off, kind of mixture of stuff. And yeah, Right now it's kind of letting off again, but... Just before I got here, it was starting to do that again. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know, it seems like a, coming on with a cold or something. That's what it feels like. Anyhow, let's go through this town and continue on. We gotta get across the border yet, back into Canada eventually. And then hopefully my... Uh, Reload will be ready to go. Here we go guys. We got to go over this big river over here just to get to uh, To the other side into Canada So we are about to leave the United States of America guys Yes, indeed. I guess it says 25. So I guess we'll slow her down a little bit I'm not sure if that smiles or I'm pretty sure it's still mild because we're still in the US side so I want to be safe right and this is the very very first time that I've ever uh, been across this particular border crossing 
Yeah, that was miles per hour. So the GPS is telling me 35, but sign up there says 25, so we're going to obey the sign, right? We always do. But this is a nice view up here. Man, this is gorgeous. It really is. Too bad it's kind of wanting to snow again. I don't really particularly like that, but hey, that's how it goes. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go across this bridge and then uh, we'll come up to the uh, customs out there in Canada side, Canadian side. I had to pay a toll up here and luckily I was able to pay it in Canadian funds. Like 10, uh, I think 1075 I think it was, let me see the receipt here. Yeah, 1075 is what I had to pay to cross this bridge. Yeah, a lot of times we gotta pay that. Crossing border, entering Ontario. Yeah, entering Ontario, guys. We're back in Canada. Although we have to clear customs yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll see you guys on the other side. Or you guys will see me on the other side, hopefully. Alright, guys. It is the next morning. We uh, had us a very good sleep. Let me show you guys where we're at. As you guys can see... We are at Master Stake again. Yes, indeed we are. And that truck beside me is running, so I'm going to close the window real quick. And I don't know, uh, this seems like overnight my uh, cold has really kicked butt, so I'm not feeling the greatest this morning, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, right? Part of life. Not every day is smiley up and down, right? It's up and down. One day is good, next day it may not be good. Oh, I see my dash cam is uh, is all white. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see the screen is all white? You gotta keep an eye on your dash cam, right? Just in case something uh, goes wrong with the dash cam. At the Rand McNally 300 here that I have, you gotta reboot it every once in a while. You always gotta keep an eye on it to make sure it's actually recording, right? Because if something happens, you want to be able to prove it, right? But anyways, we had us an alright night's sleep. And so now, I'm going to go back to the terminal and uh, pick up my trailer. Because what I did last night is I went to the terminal, picked up, uh, I mean, uh, dropped my trailer so I could bobtail over here, personal use, right? Because I'm going to the restaurant to have me a bite to eat. And then this morning I can uh, bobtail back, right? So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching today's vlog. Come back and see what we're up to tomorrow. So have a great day and we'll see you here tomorrow.